story time in motion with Palmer Public Library. I'm not at the library today and I'm so glad you could join me on trail. We're outside and it's a beautiful day. Let's jump into our story and then I'll explain our motion for the day. All right, I'm outside so who knows what'll happen. Our story today is called Penguin's Snowy Playtime. It's a pop-up story and this one is by Martin and Caddy. We've been reading all about penguins, so let's find out what they're up to this time. Out in the frozen wilderness, there walks a lonely soul, the saddest little penguin in the icy cold South Pole. Just boring snow for miles around, he sighs and sheds a tear. If only there were things to do or games to play near here. Some other little penguins feel so sorry for their friend. They try to think of fun to have and games to recommend. One happy little penguin starts to pile up heaps of snow. She builds a slide. It's quite a ride from way up high to low. Our gloomy little penguin waddles right up close to see, then hurdles down the slide and cries, yippee and watch me. Soon he tires of sliding and wants something else to do. And then he sees a friend has built a super swing for two. Whoosh, they cry, and faster, faster, watch us fly up high. Each little penguin stretches up his feet toward the sky. When the little penguin wants another game to play, he spots a helpful friend who's built a speedy little sleigh. They race along together, riding downhill much too fast, spinning, sliding, skidding, landing upside down at last. The dizzy little penguin then spots something else that's new. His friends go up and down. They've built a seesaw just for two. He watches them in wonder and knows that he is proud to have such happy friends in such a playful crowd. I need a way to thank my friends for all their snowy fun, something they will all enjoy, each and every one. Just then our little penguin hatched a really big idea, something everyone would love and he could build it here. He led his group of puzzled friends to see what he had made. I built a penguin playground full of games to be played. On skates and slides and slippery rides they played all through the day and cried three cheers for snowy playtime. Hip, hip, hooray! The end. All right, our motion today is all about a wintertime challenge. I'm gonna see if I can show you what I've got on my feet today. I'll show you without falling over. What? There they are. It's a beautiful day to get out and whatever you like to play with, whether you've got snowshoes, your boots, your skis, or if you just want to pretend around your house. But we have a challenge for you today. When you get outside next, let's try to find some things you might on trail or anywhere around your neighborhood. Let's see, today I have this piece of paper with me. But for you guys, this will be posted along with the video, so you don't need the paper. But we are challenging you to find three fallen trees, two different birds, challenging you to find the direction of north. Where's the cardinal direction north? How about three different kinds of tracks? Uh, we challenge you to find Pioneer Peak and Matanuska Peak. One single snowflake. It's hard to get just one, but we challenge you. How about if you can hear a barking dog? There's a few more items on the challenge, but I wanted to thank you for reading with me today. I wanted to cheer for you to get in motion and enjoy feeling your body move and get outside. And I'd like to wish you all a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me for Storytime in Motion. If you'd like to be in touch, find us on our Facebook page, Friends of the Palmer Public Library. You're always welcome to be in touch on our website, pplak.org, or give us a call Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4 at 745-4690. Have a great day, everyone.